We are back at Dry Pink Stadium, and Ed, man, I am tired. He's tired, but he's not going to be tired for too long been because yawning. it's I've been yawning. I've been yawning. Cafecito time, guys. This Cafe week, Bustelo. Yeah, we're going to try some Cuban coffee here at Cafe Bustelo's booth and uh, see what kind of like little snacks they might have. And, and we're gonna see uh, if we can get Peter to wake up. Man, I need some of that uh, uh, cafecito, whatever they call let's it, right? It. I gotta time. learn what it's called too. Caffeine time, let's go do it. All right, let's check it out. This is gonna be good. They got cafe con leche, he just said. Cafecito, colada, cortadito, cafe. There's the menu, yeah, like I said, cafecito, colada, colada cortadito, cafe con leche. Uh, some dessert empanadas, guava pastelitos. We got to get all of that. All right, this is what we're getting. We get a guide to our cafe because us gringos don't know what we're doing. All right, here the masters are at work. Making it fresh here at the stadium. Cafecito. We've got the colada that he's going to give us, which is basically the same thing as the cafecito, uh, cortadito, and the cafe con leche. So, we're going to have it all. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. The yummies. We don't know what any of this is, do we? <laughs> we'll ask them right now. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool because, you know, we're getting our coffee, but the only thing that's missing is that little window that they have, you know, in, uh, in Little Havana and all that stuff. So, you know, hopefully they'll have that at the new stadium. Make it work. All right, here's what we got. Ed, what actually do we have here? This right here is a cortadito. Cortadito. No, that's that's a colada. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Because the other one I've got to the... correct the Ecuadorian on the coffee. The oh, gringo's got to connect it's correct. Cuban stuff. I don't care. I you're close. You're, right. you're a lot closer to it than I am. Cafe con leche right here. Cafe con leche. And this, this is a cortadito. Because why? Because it's got milk inside. Check it out. Oh, look at that frothy milk. Nice. And we got your standard little cups here. Yeah, so we should be good, guys. We're, you guys ready for some? Yep. Thing is, we got one of these. Um, now, we don't of, know what this stuff is. We really don't because they had, uh, they had um, what was it called? Empanadas and they had pastelitos. Right. So they look like empanadas to me. And they don't have the guava pastelitos. They had some apple pastelitos. Yeah. So and one of them's the apple pastelito. We're going to find out which one, which which is which. And we have no clue because they all look the same. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. Pour it out, Ed. Pour it. Pour, make some, make some uh, magic with uh, those uh, cups. We're going to do some magic here. Let's oh, start, and seen. my brother is here to try some coffee. How's it going? This is what they do. They do a little pointy thing right there. Oh, all right. So That's how the pros spill. do it. And, we're gonna, and this is like shots, man. Yeah. This, this, if this doesn't wake up Peter Brown, nothing will. All right, some straight up. What is? What, what do they call this, Ed? This is what? This is the um, the uh, colada. No, but what's the nickname? What do the people call this drink? Oh, this is uh, the, the poor man's uh, cocaine. Poor man's cocaine right here. At a soccer game. Woo! Cheers, cheers. Uh, some people, they down it. But yeah, no, you gotta sip Some it. people down it, but I'm not gonna down it, man, because this is hardcore. If Peter doesn't wake up, nothing will wake him up. All right, we gotta see Peter doing this. All right, now, I'm not exactly a newbie to Cuban coffee. I used to, I worked at a print shop. We had some old Cuban ladies that made this every day. And normally what they'd do is they'd get the gringos to go in and stir up the uh, sugar, do all the hard work, and uh, they'd get all the credit because it tasted great. And I had some of this last week, so I'm not, it's not that foreign to me, Ed, but this is Cafe Bustelo's version. Never had that. Let's do it. Woo! It's hot, too. In like a 90 degree day, hot coffee. Mm. All right, so we already determined we had a chocolate one. These are all mystery. We didn't know what it was in any of them. I don't know what's in this one. But we see had chocolate, we had apple. What is this? All right, let's see, Ed. Uh, manhandled. Oh, this is chocolate. Like chocolate. Another chocolate. Another chocolate. Yeah. All right, so they had none savory. Apparently, shouldn't have there been a savory one over there? There should have been another one, but I guess they gave us two chocolates. Oh, well. 
It happens. Good? <laughs> I tell you. Rich, you need some coffee. <laughs> you need some coffee. Uh, I think it's time for Ed, um, um, it's, it's, it's rich and it sticks to your mouth. Well, you need Woo! some coffee to wash it down. So and, and look at this mess now. <laughs> you need some look at this mess. Maybe you should try out the, uh, the Café con Leche. All right, let me pour that into my little cup too, just so we can all share it. We, we, we got to be official. Oh, we got to get a new cup. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. Looks like he's doing good. I'll be to the brim. Yep. Alright. Oh! Oh, one right now. oh party one foul. Right now. Oh! Even worse. Some things don't get better with age. No, I'm getting worse as I go. Alright, so this is Cafe Con Leche. We've all had Cafe Con Leche, but how does Cafe Bustelo at Drive Pink Stadium make Cafe Con Leche? I, I get this at Starbucks a lot. And we got James over here turning it out. Absolutely. Gotta love me some coffee. Yep, yep. It's uh it's good. Um could use a little sugar maybe, but it's still good. Um and, and we had them to, we probably told them to put sugar in it. Maybe there's a little bit. Maybe there's a little bit, but not not a whole lot. Um which one was this again? Just regular cafe con leche. Oh, this is leche. this right here. You know, look at that. Look at that. Good logo. Cafe Bustelo. A lot of a lot of our viewers have wanted Cafe Bustelo to be the shirt sponsor. Didn't weren't the shirt sponsor, but they're here now. Oh well, let me try out the Cafe Con Leche. Wait, let me be a little more sophisticated. There we go. Picky out. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Sugar was good for me, but Peter, I guess is sweeter than I am. I'm a, and, and, and by nature, Ed, I'm a little bitter. I need a little extra sugar to soften me up. That's what it is. And I'm going to have a little more of this um, pastelito. Apple. Apple pastelito. Good. So if you want to give the chocolate a try, dry out that mouth a little bit. Let's, let's try the chocolate. Nope. Oh, wait. Let me have some of that. Mmm. Rich. Mm. Mm. Telling you, you need something to wash yeah, down with. Yeah, yeah. Try to talk yeah. now. Try to talk now, Ed. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Say, say a whole bunch of words now. Let's see how you do. It's good. We need something to wash it down. Oh man, we only have two cups left. That's okay. We can reuse. It's all coffee going into coffee cups. So, so yeah. So here's the thing. So you do two small cups, and whoever's last got to drink the big cup. Oh. I think we should give the big cup to Peter. Oh, there man. There you go, Peter. You guys want to get me wired. It's a little more bitter. Yeah. But not as not as not as strong as the um the cortadito. Cortadito, yeah. But it works. A little bit lighter. Not as heavy in your mouth. Yeah. You know what? This is worth it. If you guys are following see what Peter Brown is, you gotta go to Cafe Bustelo, get your stuff. Like I said earlier. Hopefully they'll have like a little ventanita thing at the new stadium, because uh, I think that's what we need. You know, just that look is, would be kind of cool. And you know what? A Cuban lady to do it. Because you, you got to have that staple, man. You got Cuban, the, the Cuban lady, they know what they're doing. It's a South Florida staple. <laughs> All right, so I get the big cup. So this is basically the colada with milk in it, from what I understand. All right, and you guys made it sound like it's a lot. It's not that much in it. It's just a big cup. Have some on my nose. Feel like I have some on my nose. That's more bitter. It's funny. There's less sugar in that one. Less sugar in that one. Um, but all around, in your opinion? All around, I love it. You can't go wrong with coffee. It's strong coffee. I mean, we all know Cafe Bustelo down here. A lot of us have the K cups at home that we get. So it's fun to come to the stadium. Although it's hot, I'm 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 drenched in sweat right now. Drinking hot coffee in 100 degree heat but it tastes really, really good. I don't know about, to add final review though on this, I'm not crazy for the, the chocolate pastelito. It said they were supposed to have guava pastelitos. I prefer that. 
They didn't have them today. So maybe when you guys come, maybe they'll have the guava and that would be better. You know, this is all right. But but the coffee's where it's at. And and as far as how I would rank these, I mean, like, uh, you know, the uh, Cafe Con Leche's good. But it's pretty standard. I would probably go with the traditional colada. Just get a big old bucket of the colada and get wired for the game. Absolutely. I think the colada is where it's at. You know, get you up and going no matter where you're at. Uh, now I'm talking three times faster than I was before. My heart rate's a little up. I feel I can run four or five miles, and uh, I, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about my older older brother having a heart attack now. All right, so we're going to watch him for the next couple hours, make sure he gets lots of water during halftime. But other than that, I think it'll be all right. But you know, I really appreciate the the, the, the Cafe Bastillo really amping you up for the game. Guys, I think it's universal. The colada's where it's at. So, um, you know, if anything... Uh, hopefully Peter will survive tonight because he had a lot of coffee today. You know, he's kind of old. But, uh, you know, I think uh, James and I will take good care of him. Right. We'll, we'll have him okay. And uh, guys, get out of here and uh, have some of that Cafe Bustelo. All right. Ed, after drinking all that coffee, I'm, I'm ready for the game. And I'm, 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 I'm excited and ready to go. I'm a little, and, I'm a little and, shaky and, and ready and, to go. And, and, and now all I need to make it even better is, uh, is go get a beer. We need to chill go get out some beer because, because he, you know, the, he needs to chill out because he's a little too excited. You know, that... That Café Bustelo is really getting to him, so let's do it. All right, so everybody, let's please go. like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you at the next video. Bye.